The RX60 ventilators are made about 50 meters up the plant in that direction. That's where they're made and that's where they're tested. When they're brand new, they're then brought down to this area here. This is effectively the shipping area and it's Laurie Malinsky. Hi, Laurie. Hi there. It's Laurie Malinsky's job. She is the fulfillment logistics manager for the plant to then ship them out to the rest of the world. Correct. How does that process work? Well, actually we have customer orders that we are then printing and we pick all of the accessories that the customer has ordered and we combine it with the ventilators and then we ready it for the pack line. Pack line gets it all packaged per their OMS and uh, it's then ready for shipment out of here. So from coming off the production line, how long does it take to being on a truck leaving the plant? Um, we could probably get them out within the same day. If we get like a full order of 20 or so, we could probably get them picked and packed and uh, ready for the truck within that same day. And then from the truck to this particular order is going to New York City. Correct. So I believe we've actually have a two day transit set up for that order. Where will the ventilators go once they leave the plant if they're going abroad? Oh, they're going to go to our freight forwarders in Chicago and then they'll be booked on flights and then they'll be headed to their uh, destination from there. And how long have you been working at the plant for? 27 years. That's a significant amount of time. It is. Um, it is. Have you seen anything quite like the demand and, and the way that production's been ramped up and the demand's been put on you and your no, teams? No, this is the first time, first time I've seen anything like this. In 27 years? 27 years, yeah. And how yeah. are you dealing with it in terms of manpower, shift patterns? So, you know, we've added a third shift to, in a lot of the areas. We beefed up our second shift. Um, we have a lot of volunteers coming to help right now while we're also in the process of hiring all these additional production people. So it's been a great effort across all of GE Healthcare um, to get us to be able to support this increased demand right now. And yep. this is the pack line? Yes, yep, this is our pack line and we actually have some R860 ventilators being packed right now. The R860s come off the production line, they're tested, so they're brand new, they're brought down here, they're stacked behind me into the packing area. When they're put onto skids, they've got accessories added to them and then they're brought into the shrink wrap area, which is here. That protects them during transit and then they're lined up one by one and they're packed into these boxes for transit and off out the door. Now this particular shipment, this is going to New York City. Uh, the engineers, the field engineers will then pick it up. They'll do all the relevant checks they need to do. They'll hand it over to the clinicians who will then use the RH60 ventilators from this plant in Madison to help save critically ill patients with COVID-19.